My colleague Vishwanath spoke to Prale Mondal, the MD and uh, MD of the company. Here's what he had to say. We uh, did have a good growth on the deposit side, while uh, Casa didn't grow as much. And the reason for that is overall systemic. I think there is a little bit of a challenge in the Casa side growth. The overall system has also shrunk in the last uh, one or two years. And for us, I've said before that we are still building the Casa franchise. And uh, based on all the building blocks which we are putting together in terms of systems, processes, technology, huge investments is going into technology. And the distribution, we are uh, spreading our uh, branches and distribution in more liability-oriented uh, uh, geography. So all of that, along with the sales team which you are building, we will need more customers into the bank. So we don't have a strong CASA franchise today. But two years from now, we will build that franchise and we will start to see a sustainable growth on the CASA. Also, what is CASA? It's a function of uh, the how you use the account based on various EMIs, various other things which you uh, use the account for. So we need to put those processes in place to build the CASA franchise. So I think uh, uh, tactically, uh, we don't want to build CASA. We want to build it strategically. And hence, in the long run, you will see CASA growing in 526 onwards for us on a ratio as a CASA ratio as well. So, so for the rest of this financial year, then we are, we are not really expecting a big boost on the CASA front. That's that what you're saying, sir? Yeah, I think broadly it will be similar because uh, uh, overall the deposit growth is faster than the system. And if you have to grow on the asset side and keep a CD ratio, which is sustainable at a similar kind of a range, focus on LCR and those kind of things. Uh, I think we need to continue to grow our uh, deposit and quality of deposits out there. Uh, so. CASA also is a function of the development and growth on the deposit side. So to that extent, I think we should be happy being where we are today. Mm. But this is a story in the long run. Long run, we will grow faster. Right. Um, I want to touch a bit upon, upon the uh, uh, fixed deposit side as well, the term deposits. So there, you're seeing a very strong 32-33% uh, growth. Uh, what's driving that? Uh, and is there a bulk element to that at all? Uh, I think our bulk element will be uh, uh, below 25% of the overall deposit franchise. So it's not very high. Uh, it is in line with many other banks in the system. But what is driving is the quality of the management put together that they know how to get the businesses. We are addressing the right segments of customers on the deposit side. Uh, the coverage is getting better. And also, uh, I think it's the quality of leadership at all levels, especially the zonal and regional levels. We are able to touch base with the right set of customers to get the business. So I think that's going well and that will continue. Uh, in terms of uh, rates, I think the rates are still elevated in the system. Uh, we hope that will start coming down in the second of the year. Uh, so, uh, and if you look at our cost of funds, our cost of funds is uh, probably similar or lower than many of the other banks in our kind of a uh, 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 group. So I think we are doing pretty well on the overall deposit side. Sure. Uh, I want to touch upon the uh, advances side of the uh, portfolio as well. There, uh, about roughly about 18% year on year on the uh, gross advances. Uh, but your gold loan portfolio continues to uh, outpace that. Uh, you know, your stated agenda is that you want to eventually bring down that uh, gold loan ratio in the book. Uh, where are we on that, and and why is the gold loan portfolio uh, consistently outperforming your overall credit growth? So, Vishal, I told this before that uh, our stated objective is to bring down gold portfolio around 20% by the end of this, uh, this 2030, by the end of this uh, decade, by 2030. Uh, however, right now, if you have to invest into other businesses, it's a very good ROA and ROI business. And we are investing into uh, various things like people, leadership, technology, and all of that, and we need the revenue against that. And gold is a uh, established business in the bank. We are creating more efficiency out there. We are creating more customers there. And it's a very, very high ROI business. So from that perspective, uh, we want to do well in gold for at least few more years so that we can invest into the other businesses because there's a heavy investment going on in retail or wholesale franchise, though it, uh, we are doing some corrections this year on the wholesale side right now. But eventually, it will start picking up from next year. SMEs started, already started picking up. So overall, I think gold is primarily helping us in building the franchise from an investment perspective, and hence it will be there for another year or two. 
Okay. Uh, uh, coming to the uh, uh, you know the question of your loan book. Now, I, I, I wanted to understand from you, 65% of that gold loan portfolio is coming from just two states, roughly, uh, you know, uh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu account for most of it. Uh, is there any plan to then, uh, within that 20% target that you have, uh, to have more states, or do you want to fo continue focus on these two states, which have been traditionally uh, adding to your gold loans? Yeah, traditionally, I think uh, southern states are a uh, little easier to do gold on businesses. Mm. Customers are also understands that business well, mm. uh, understands that product well. Uh, however, uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, uh, we have larger distribution of as we are talking to Kerala. Kerala has 37 percent of our distribution. Tamil Nadu is also quite large in distribution. So it to some extent mirrors our distribution play also. Having said that, in the long run, uh, western markets, northern markets, uh, and some of the other parts of the country. Uh, we'll do much better on the wholesale side of the business, SME, we are spreading everywhere. So to that extent, I think the new branches which are coming up, especially in the uh, other parts of the geography, we are building them based on liability, franchise, mm -hmm. based on other products, etc. So to that extent, you're right that we want to uh, build other franchise in other parts, the look and feel and the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, flow plates, what kind of things we are putting in the branding, etc. They are very different in these branches. So the future, long-term future is to build other businesses in some of these branches which are coming new now. Okay. Uh, final question on the uh, cost and margin side of the stories. Now, um, you said for FI25, uh, you're expecting CASA to be in this current ratio, which is around, uh, what, 24, 25% uh, of your total deposits. Uh, what does that do to your cost and thereby your margins? You're, you're still at 5%, which is a very strong margin uh, ratio compared to the rest of the ecosystem. Uh, but what is your expectation? Yeah, so uh, I think the cost of funds may just another quarter away from sort of becoming flattish because the cost of deposits are going up. Not so much about CASA ratio because that will remain consistent, but cost of deposits will start hopefully coming down by the second half of this year. Mm. Uh, uh, but the uh, mix and other things also will uh, uh, play a role. So from overall perspective, I think I'll be happy to be somewhere between four and a half to five. It will be difficult to be above five at this point of time. And it's not uh, sustainable also in the long run, because mm. once we by 2030, if we build a larger, much larger franchise with multiple product services, we have to start understanding that name will keep coming down and fees will keep going up. So overall, ROI, we can sustain somewhere between 1.5 to 1.8. So that's the structural build we are creating in the bank. Uh, and that will gradually play out. That light path will play out over a period of time. So this year, I think we should be happy if you are somewhere between 4.5 to 5. It won't be crossing 5. All right, uh, Mr. Bonnell, thank you so much for, your con uh, for this uh, time that you spared for this conversation. It's a pleasure talking to you, sir. It's always a pleasure, Krishna. Thank you.